Well, delighted to say joining me now, Adam Kirby, after riding his first uh, ever Group 1 victory, Lethal Force. Um, talk me through it, because uh, obviously the horse, I mean, your trip was ever, never going to be a problem, but the speed you showed, you sort of burnt off all comers. Really tough performance. Yeah, no, he's, um, <clears throat> he's unbelievable, um, the way he does things, you know. It's, um, we just let him use himself once in the hunger for stakes and um, seven furlongs. And he, and he, you know, he's, everyone said that day that, you know, maybe it was a fluke and this and that, but... It wasn't, you know. He was, I mean, and he was only a three-year-old then. He's four now, and he was just a frame. Whereas he's, he's a big, he's a big solid horse now. And obviously, did you always feel that you, get, you even with my society rock was quickening up? I don't know whether it ever got close enough. Did you see what was going on? Feel what was going on behind in any sense? Well, no, you know, it's just, um, you know, it was just, you know, it's just, it's um, just had it all concentration on mine, and um, the first part of the race went brilliant, you know. But um, like I said, I didn't. It wasn't, it wasn't the way I intended to ride him. Um, but just to hit the gate and he, and he jumped and he was doing it so easy. And this, um, you know, it's, it's only six pounds. You can't knock him out of the stride, you know. And so it almost surprised you just how well he was going. You were, you were saying that you just was so comfortable right from the from the start. Yeah, no, listen, he's, he's, got, he's got a very high cruising speed. And, um, you know, I, I don't think he's had a race today, to be honest. He's, um, you know, he was sort of... He was underneath me and he's just wandering around a bit towards the finish. Um, I think I think he wanted to come in at about 20 left. And um, what does it mean for you to have a, a group one, big, well, first group one victory and at a meeting like this? This is, uh, must feel pretty special in terms of what you would, in, in, as a career moment. Yeah, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, it's, you know, I've always said it's what you, what you get up in the morning for for, for days like this. And, um, you know. Well, here's the winning trainer, Clive Cox. Um, well, Adam was saying that just can't believe just how well the race went from him, from you watching on from the stands. Um, in the end, were you, were you ever worried that, uh, that your horse would be overhauled, or did you all think this was this has gone remarkably well? No, I was worried. I, I think we, we both um, we, we did look for a little bit of cover early, but he hit the gate so well. But that said, he's he's a potent force when he's made all in the Hungerford last year, and um, this man this man does a pretty good job. And I think the most important thing is he was able to find a rhythm even though he was in front early and um, when, he, when he gave him a squeeze it was at a crucial stage of the race that everything else was, was also trying to quicken and um, it was very uh, authoritative. So it was, that was the thing, so suddenly you got daylight between him and the rest of the field, that was the key moment and the rest were always, including Society Rock and the others, were, were playing catch up. That's right. Yeah, and, was... and for you to have a winner in a race like this, I mean, <coughs> you had big race wins, but where does, where does this rank in, in for, you, for you as a as a trainer? Well, I think, um, yes, I mean, on home territory to win a Group 1 of this calibre is, is especially what it's all about. And, and as I said, it's a great team at home and, um, you know, everybody work hard, especially through this winter. It was a long, hard winter. So uh, it, it's, it's fantastic. So what will be, what will be the thought now? Is, is staying six or going up? What, what, how, how will you play the rest of the campaign now? Well, I think he's pretty good over six. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> so we can, we can um, keep our sights set in that direction, I feel. Um, you know, he's in the July Cup. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll take it a step at a time with all the major sprints in mind. Um, you know, he's, he's a horse that, you know, we could, we could take further afield as well. Um, so, what, I mean, so overseas looking, maybe some trips overseas? Well, we'll see how he's, he's performed today. I think quite likely, um, you know, we've got a, a few options to, to think about, really. And like, so clearly, a sort of, for both of you, uh, in terms of careers, this, this, this means a lot. Adam, for you, a, a really special day. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, well done, Clive. Thank you very much. Thank Clive you, Rupert. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.